Section 6.1, Ratios, Proportions, and the Geometric Mean. A ratio is a relationship between two quantities. And it is a constant relationship. The notation that we see is, for example, if we're looking at the relationship between A and B. So we can look at the notation will either be A over B, or we can write it with a colon as A to B, or we can write out A to B. These are the three ways that you'll see ratios written. Regardless of what way you use, you should have both the numbers A and B in the ratio. For example, if the relationship was 2 to 1, we do not just write this as 2. We want to see both numbers in the relationship. We could also write this as 2 to 1 or 2 to 1. The phrasing is that we say we have a ratio of A to B. Let's look at an example. We have a picture. Devin has a 5 inch wide and 7 inch high photo. We'll say it's of Devin. He wants to enlarge the photo without distorting the picture. What must the new dimensions be if Devin wants his photo to be 25 inches wide? So we want to enlarge this photo. We want it to be 25 inches wide. What does the height have to be? There's a number of ways we can solve this. Some of you might realize that Devin multiplied the width by 5 which means he would also need to multiply the height by 5, giving you a height of 35 inches. This method is called scaling. And it's when you use a scale factor. But there's another way we can set this up. We can set it up as we know that the width to height must be in a 5 to 7 ratio, meaning that if the width is 25, we want to solve for the height. 5 to 7 must be the same as 25 to x. We can cross multiply, giving us 5x equals 7 times 25, which should be 175. Then 175 divided by 5 gives us x equals 35. Again, we see 35 inches. This method is called the constant ratio. And it's because we use the constant ratio of width to height, which is 5 to 7. Well, lastly, We could say that because width to height is 5 to 7, that means that the width is always 5 sevenths the height, or the height is always 7 fifths of the width. These two equations here is using a constant multiplier. Because we can either multiply the height by 5 sevenths to get the width, or we can multiply the width by 7 fifths to get the height. Since we have the width, we could say that the height equals 7 fifths times 25, which equals 35. Regardless of what method we use, we always get 35 inches.